The topic of this video is graphing domain restricted functions. Okay, let's solve this problem. Graph f of x equals the absolute value of x if negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 1. Okay, let's go through the steps. Step 1 says to create the whole graph. So we have to create the graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x. This is one of our library of functions, and so you should be able to do this quickly. The x's we will use are negative 1, excuse me, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And to find y from x, we just have to remember that y equals the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of 1 is 1. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Now we make our graph. Square centered at the origin. Erase the corners. That establishes the location of 1 and negative 1. So that must be that 2 would be here, and 2 would be here, and negative 2 would be here, and negative 2 would be here. And now we can plot our points. All right, negative 2, 2 would be here. Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay, great. So the absolute value graph consists of two rays. Lines, line segments, and rays must be drawn with a straight edge. So get out your straight edge and draw this. All right. So we've now created our entire graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x. But we're not going to keep the whole graph because this is a domain restricted function. We're only going to keep the part of the graph where x is in between negative 2 and 1. So let's continue through the steps. Step 2, cut vertically, keep the relevant pieces. So after the word if, find the numbers. And the numbers are where you're going to make a vertical cut. So we're going to cut at negative 2 and positive 1. And we're going to cut vertically. So right through that point, and vertical, right through that point, and vertical. And then we keep the part where x is in between negative 2 and 1. Said another way, we keep the part of the blue graph that's in between the red dashed lines. So all of this goes away. All of this goes away. Step three, we place dots where the curve meets the cut. All right, so the first dot comes from this. Negative 2 is next to the less than or equal to symbol, which indicates a closed dot. So I need a closed dot at negative 2 where the blue curve meets the red cut. So a closed dot here at coordinates negative 2, 2. Next, I find that the 1 is next to the less than symbol, which shows up in here. So I need an open dot at 1 where the blue curve meets the red cut. So that will be right here at coordinates 1, 1. All right, with that, we are now done with our graph. We have said that we want the absolute value graph, but the only part we want to keep is in between negative 2 and 1, including negative 2, but excluding 1.